Citizens speak out. People continue to rally as they strive for peace and stability, as well as improved access to jobs, education, and democracy in countries such as Chile, India, Kyrgyzstan, Libya, Syria, United Kingdom, and Yemen. United Kingdom, with unrest on Tuesday, August the 9th, occurring for the fourth consecutive night in primarily less fortunate neighborhoods marked by high unemployment, British officials continue seeking measures to restore calm. Meanwhile, three young men died in Birmingham after being struck by a car as they were reportedly acting to protect their communities. Chile. Tens of thousands of Chilean students maintained protests Tuesday, demanding that education remain in the hands of the government to guarantee fair opportunity for all. However, violence erupted as some began burning cars and barricades, with 273 who were arrested. Kyrgyzstan. Security forces on Tuesday surrounded a group of mainly women to prevent them from blocking a road in the activists' second straight day of protests, being held in the capital as they called for their homes to be connected to water and electricity. India. Police used water cannons, tear gas, and bamboo batons to subdue and disperse thousands of Bharatiya Janata minority party members who gathered outside the parliament building Tuesday to protest government corruption. Yemen. The UN Security Council called on August the 9th for both sides to reject violence and to ensure that all those needing humanitarian assistance are reached, while also calling for an orderly transfer of power. The activists' common forum of minority groups welcomed the UN's urgings as it pledged to establish an umbrella national council by August the 17th toward the goal of a transitional government to implement long-time demands for change by the Yemeni people. Libya. The Libyan government acknowledged on Tuesday for the first time that U.S. writer Matthew Van Dyke, who went missing in March during a visit to Brega, is currently imprisoned. Meanwhile, revolutionaries announced that they have successfully assumed control of Bir al Ghanam, a western desert town only 80 kilometers from the capital of Tripoli. With deep sympathies for those who have perished or suffer from injuries due to conflict, we pray that the strife in all nations may subside for people everywhere to live, dignified and free as a peaceful world.